what I would like to have my customer experience is when they walk in that door, they feel that they're not in St. George anymore. We have this atmosphere that is like Los Angeles, that is like Las Vegas. We have a lounge that's like Las Vegas and everything that I cook and I try to put on my plate and that I've trained my chefs to do is something from the heart and our food will definitely, definitely speak that. You know, everything we do here from scratch, we get 40 pound halibuts flown in, we do all the butchering in the house. So, I mean, it's really like going to a large metropolitan city, but you're in St. George. It's taken a long time to get here. I've worked my butt off. It's been about a 12 year goal. I was working with my mom who was the cook. You know, my mom and I just did recipes together. My father was doing the accounting. And I told my mom one day, I said, look, I'm gonna, nail, I'm gonna get this industry down. I guarantee, I'm, I'm gonna nail this industry, I guarantee it. And it was just, I've kind of been in it. Even my first job, I was doing pizzas at the pizza factory. You know, and then I just, I just was born where I was cooking when I was four years old with my grandfather. It's just one of those stories that you hear from chefs, you know, they cook with their mom or their grandfather and then they just kind of were in the industry and they, they actually, th those are the success stories from this industry or people that normally started at a young age and were passionate about it forever. You know, I've worked in some of the top restaurants in Vegas with some of the top chefs that you can imagine and it was tough, especially coming from St. George, working at my parents' old restaurant and thinking that you know everything and graduated culinary school and you're this great chef and then you move down to Vegas and you work with the real chefs and you realize that you're not that good. And you pretty much have to get broken down and start from the bottom and work your way back up to the top. And that's what I did. You know, and it was tough, it was about three years, but it was, it was worth everything. I've cooked for a couple of celebrities. I've done some personal chef work up in Park City for the Greenlight Project in the Sundance Film Festival. I've done some things down in Las Vegas. I've done a couple of runway shows for Dolce & Gabbana. Like I said, it was something that I've always dreamed of doing. I, I moved back from Vegas to St. George hoping that this day would come and it did. I mean, I'm probably here 14, 15 hours a day, sometimes six, seven days a week. I know there was a couple months, you know, when we first opened, I was here for four months straight. Like I said, I've gone this far. I'm not gonna just let it sit through my fingers. Hi, my name is Johnny Vivo, chef owner of Scaldoni's. I would like to invite you down to come enjoy our beautiful, beautiful restaurant, beautiful lounge, and food that has passion brought into it. We have wonderful service, Las Vegas, New York style atmosphere, and the food to back it up. Come down and see us, we'd really love to have you. Thank you.